Hello YouTubers, thought I'd make a video as to what to do with the extra piece of metal after you uh, cut them out of your knife designs. You always end up with a few pieces of scrap and uh, one thing you can do is make neck knives with them. If they're even smaller than that, perhaps too small for a neck knife, um, I came up with these ideas and these would be self-defense kind of brass knuckle um, objects. Drill the hole in this one attach it to your keychain. Got this one over here. This could have been a neck knife, but you know, would have been a half inch blade from here on. Um, I used the drill to drill out something. So if, if I were to get a sharp edge, it would be a really small neck knife. So instead, now it's a brass knuckle. If it's very comfortable in the hand, and there you go. All I have to do for this one drill a hole, I can attach it to the keychain. Um, I think this is um, 3V steel. This is 440. It's got a cut mark when I was using the uh, the um, handheld uh, cutoff saw. But, polish it up, give it some shape, drill a hole in it, and now it's a brass knuckle little self-defense thing. Also plan to drill a hole in here so I can attach it to a keychain. Sometimes you end up with little triangular pieces. So drill a 7 8 hole, smooth out the edges a little bit. Two more holes which I cut out with the band with the uh, belt saw. And now you have a lightweight brass knuckle. If it was a little longer it would protrude past here and I would have a nice point here for punching for doing like a hammer fist hammer fist punch but this one I didn't think was going to work out as well as I thought it did because there isn't a lot of meat a lot of metal behind the brass knuckle compared to this object here the palm rests against this bar back here there doesn't seem to be much material there for that, but in actuality, very lightweight and actually fits right there on in the fold, right behind the fingers here. Fits very nice, very comfortable, very ergonomic. ergonomic. I just wish this scrap piece of metal was just a little longer. I have it on a very thin piece of uh, metal here. This metal ring is very weak, so if I had to, I can pull it off from the keychain if I needed to. Not that I ever will. And if you're looking to make one for yourself, this piece of metal here is four inches. If it was a little longer, it would have been better. Maybe four and a half or five would have been nice. But small, compact, thin. I don't have to heat treat it. Just had to cut one hole, cut out these two, and we have ourselves a brass knuckle. If you're interested in this one, it's two inches and a half long. This tombstone looking one, it's another two inches and a half or so. Um, yes, I can flatten out, square it off, make it look more like a tombstone, but in the hand, it actually fits perfectly. This diagonal part, this extra part here, just not square. It actually fits in the fold of the hand perfectly. It's almost made for it, you know? See? It's almost made for it. So that's going to be my design. Just had a chance. So here are three brass knuckles that I designed. Again, that doesn't need to have that notch there, but I just worked out that way. That's where the notch was. That's where I drilled the uh, center hole and this one I can even cut out to kind of duplicate this design or just leave it alone. So I think what I'll do with this, these is maybe put a Duracoat or treat the surface somehow because uh, 440C and 3VC, uh, 3V steel is uh, it's going to rust, it's going to tarnish. So I think I may put a coat on it. So. There you go. 
Hope you enjoyed the video.